Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick comparison video between Linux Mint 21 uh, Cinnamon Edition on the left hand side. Uh, it is currently in beta versus Linux Mint 20.3 Cinnamon Edition as well. Uh, currently, well, the current release. So this is the upcoming one here, but it is out and available so for, for testing purposes. So, so we can have a bit of a look at it now. Now, starting off, uh, being Cinnamon, they are both running on the same uh, front end, so effectively the same sort of look and feel. We've got our HUD or start menu of sorts and the ability to search for our apps. It's all categorized there, so nothing too different on that front. Even the context menu on the front page is about the same there. Uh, if we go to customize and see what's happening here, even that is the same there. Oh, we really want to... Not a lot to customize actually on that uh, setting there. But um, if we were to say go to the back end, now we are still of course dealing with the same file manager, the, uh, the Nemo file manager for both of them. Although we will get slightly different version in there for sure. But they are pretty much the same in what they do and they look and feel for sure with the nice green color accents and tones. We can right click and uh, hit open terminal for both of them and that keeps me pretty happy there. Uh, next up, let's have a little bit of a look at the back end. We should see some differences here. So, for instance, the, the kernel. Now, the kernel for Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon is uh, going to be newer, later and greater. I should mention at this point that Linux Mint 21 is based off of the newer uh, back end of Ubuntu, the long-term service release, 22.04, whereas the older version of Linux Mint 20.3 is uh, actually running on the Ubuntu long-term service release 20.04 as opposed to 22.04, which means we're dealing with a, a much newer, later and greater kernel, which is great for later hardware devices, Wi-Fi cards, you know, graphics cards, all sorts of things there, micro uh, CPU, microcode, that sort of thing. Uh, whereas on the right-hand side, we are dealing with, you know, albeit a more stable, but um, certainly older kernel with less functionality features of, of all sorts of, just like a whole flurry of different things that you'll be missing out on there. But hey, if you just use it as a, as a simple daily driver for web browsing, then you're probably not going to be uh, noticed, to be honest, anyway. Uh, let's see, last but not least, to take these values with a bit of a grain of salt, but uh, let's have a look at the RAM usage on boot up. So starting off, uh, Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon Beta Edition, it's about eight, 689 megabytes of RAM on boot up currently, whereas the, uh, the current release is at about 650 megabytes of RAM. Now, there could be many reasons for this. It is much of a muchness though, but uh, still pretty close, 30, uh, 40 megabytes, but uh, perhaps beta, the beta release ha hasn't yet fully been optimized. We'll see uh, on the full release later on, but uh, that's what it is there for now. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.